This video will show you how to install a 6294A ratchet repair kit on a Dutton Lanson hand wench. You'll be using the following parts in this kit. A ratchet sleeve, cap screw, spring, spacer, lock nut, and a lever. This kit is compatible with the winches listed on your screen, but it is important to understand that how you install the kit depends on what specific model of Dutton Lanson wench you own. Both installation procedures will be described in this video, so follow the instructions only when your winch's model number is shown in the top right corner of the screen. No matter what model of winch is in front of you, you must first remove its existing ratchet kit. Using two 7 16 inch wrenches, or a combination of a wrench and a ratchet as shown, loosen the lock nut and remove it from the end of the cap screw. Pull the cap screw completely out of the ratchet sleeve, then simply slide the kit's interior parts out from the center of the wench. To install a new kit on one of these four wenches, such as this DL2000A, place the lever on the tapered edge of the ratchet sleeve with its pointed tip on the left and facing down. Next, place the spacer against the lever on this tapered edge. Insert one end of the spring in the hole above the lever's pointed tip, then insert the other end of the spring in the small hole on the gear side of your wench. Press down on the ratchet sleeve to line up its end with the large hole on this side of the wench. Then slide the cap screw through both this hole and the ratchet sleeve. Line up the other end of the ratchet sleeve with the large hole on the opposite side of the wench until you can push the cap screw all the way through. Finally, place the lock nut on the end of the cap screw and tighten it completely with your tools to finish installing the ratchet repair kit. To install this kit on a DL1802A or DL2102A, slip the lever on the ratchet sleeve with its pointed tip facing down and on the right this time. Put one end of the spring in the lever's hole that is not above its pointed tip, then place the spacer next to the lever. Insert the other end of the spring in the small hole on the gear side of the wench, line up the ratchet sleeve with the large hole on this same side of the wench, then slide the cap screw completely through the ratchet sleeve. Place the lock nut on the end of the cap screw, then firmly tighten it with your tools as your final step. However, before you use your wench, take a minute to ensure that you have installed the kit correctly. To do this, engage the gear with the lever's pointed tip and move the reel towards the gears. You should hear loud clicks and feel resistance as the lever passes through the gears. Now, lift the lever's pointed tip off of the gear and move the reel in the same way. You shouldn't hear any clicks, nor should you feel any resistance. One precaution. When initially assembling the parts, some people try to place the spring over the spacer and the ratchet sleeve's tapered edge. While the spring's opening seems to fit in this position, your wench will not function properly or safely if you try to install the kit onto your wench like this. Thanks for watching. Visit us at duttonlanson.com for more information.